Hey everybody, this is Dr. Phil Joyce. I wasn't prepared. One of the hottest, thickest, I mean, I'm talking about thick. She got breasts, she got thighs, she got ass, she got ankles. She's fashionable. Never wears her hair out. Never. She's always in a turban. I don't talk to her. Everybody know me around here. I'm a, look, when I turn renegade, all the black people like turned against me. When I see her over here, I just went crazy. I did, oh, I can't show you his face either. What's up, brother? No, you can see me. They can't see you. So what's happening, man? Yeah, yo, you know that girl that was determined all the time? She just took her hair out. And this is a video I'm making about that shit. You can't. Yo, the girl with the turban, the one with the thick one, with the titties, the ass, the, the, ass, the legs, the thighs. She had her hair out, man. Yo, you know... These are winds of change. All right, partner. All right now. Oh, my God. Hey, everybody. I hope you're sharing my life with me. This is the whole idea of these videos, by the way. They actually bring to you the kind of life I live as a Haitian guy that's playing African-American. And most everybody got my number, except when I get into these real moments like right now. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Trying to fire up my cigarette, but that's not happening. Oh, my God. Damn. Yo, I mac me. I, I can mac that. I can mac that. But I went over to the Bronx, and I seen them, them Dominicans. I don't know, man. I think I got lots of variety. I think I got a whole lot of opportunities available to me. I don't need to be jumping on the first thing I see that just came out lately because I ain't make her come out. She came out because she came out for Sandy. There's a change going on. And right now, with the response that I got from the Attorney General, I'm going to go through some lawyers, and I got to get me a lawyer to handle this case that did not get this message, not about to get this message. If I can get a lawyer to do this, and to go before or to file a motion that she's not taking the case my, of my, my lawsuit, $7.3 million for at least 2.3, and then also file simultaneously in the court of claims for another $5 million against the elected officials since Shirley Huntley got freaking butted in. And what I just put together, I've got a million dollars in my pocket. Y'all can get me any ass I want. In Canada. That's what I'm telling to you here in America. It's like, oh, you want to buy it? You've been selling it. <laughs> you piece of shit. Look at this white girl right here. Uh, she's really a Hispanic, but, you know, for this neighborhood, you want to sell that, pass that off. They've been trying to do that shit for a long time. But when I got to the Bronx, damn, but my Genesis. Oh, good God. Genesis, I'll be perfect wife for me. 20 years ago, if she was alive then, if she was a, uh, a toddler in Pampers and shit, so that's not happening. People, this is my personal fucking log. I'd appreciate it very much if you reserve your comments to yourself and just enjoy it and keep it moving. I don't need to be answering all these freaking messages and all that. I, I pick on certain people just because I can, because I do. Hey, <laughs> Hello. come on now. Oh, God. Them big fat women kill me. They act like somebody want to jump on some fat. You know how hard it is? I used to be into fat girls. You know how hard it is to fuck a fat woman? Jesus Christ. I think I'm going to take a break right here and smoke my cigarette. That's 300 pounds. How in the hell do you flip that around, hit it, and actually make a yelling fucking scream after you choke her with your dick? You can't, man. You can't. That's why I want to. <laughs> I'm done. I got to get out of here because I don't want you all to get mad at me. Listen to my personal log and how crazy I am by myself. I love y'all. Bye-bye.